Hi, just a quick impromptu video. Today I drove a couple, this is my service van by the way, it's when I drive. So today I drove a couple hours north of here. Sorry for the handheld video. A friend of mine, Clark, who's a electrical contractor and former Newtone Service Center called me and said he's changing his shop around and he's downsizing somewhat and he had a bunch of Newtone stuff and he said if I wanted to drive all the way up there and come take a look at it I could have whatever I wanted. He also said to make sure your van's empty because you're going to need the space. So here is what we came back with. It's a big giant haul of all kinds of Newtone stuff. We've got some old displays. There's a lot of parts and bits and pieces. Let's walk around the other side. I guess we can open up the back. Maybe you can get the full scope of the whole thing here. So here is a good half a van load of Newtone stuff. There's some old display panels from when you used to have stuff on display, some vacuum tubing, a bunch of parts. There's an old Newtone on in-wall hair dryer, which most of you have probably never seen. There's a Newtone 303 Master down there. Lots of stuff buried down underneath all of this. There's an IS-68, the remains of an IS-70 white, or IS-69 white. There's some 4006 Masters, a 3003 Master. There's a bunch of fan parts down in the pile down under there. There's uh, three or four central vacuum motor assemblies, the replacement motors for the power units that are new old stock out of the parts department. Uh, one of the, some of the more interesting things here are, this is a heater grill out of a model 9090, which is a 60s ceiling heat vent light. And while the grill is kind of worn and tattered and doesn't have much value, the uh, glass lens does because they haven't made those in decades and they're not available anymore. The other thing, there's some old, some new old stock central vacuum hoses. And there are also, I don't know if I can get this out of here. This is like a Fibber McGee and Molly's closet here. Try not to have it all crashing out on top of me. There's two sets of Newtone door chime tubes. These are four tube sets. And Clark said that somewhere, which I couldn't find them when I was there at the old shop, so they probably been moved to the new shop already. He's got the two chimes that go along with it. And based on when these are from, which I don't know if there's a date on them exactly. Let's see what the label says. What does the label say? It says LD49 slash 66, which is what I sort of expected it to be. If they are two new old stock LD49 door chimes, that's a guy's score. He helped me load everything up. We had a nice chat. I hadn't seen him in a long time. Clark and I have been friends for like 25 years. I told him when he gets moved in, get settled into his new shop. I'll come up there and buy him and his and his guys buy him a nice lunch somewhere. That's all for the video for this part of the video. I got to get this all unloaded cuz I got to get it up in the office. Anyway, and sort through it all. There'll be more. This is like part 1. See ya. So here's everything out of the van. As you can see, it's quite a pile of stuff. It's all over there. It's there. It's all of this down here. There's some 4406 master stations, which are there. There's an IK15 display panel. There's a bunch of Newtone wire. There's three or four new old stock central vacuum hoses. We've got a, this is a desktop station for a 406 system. There's another 4006 master and another display. This is a box of hose socks under here. That's a 303 master station. Boxes of wire. There's three central vacuum motor assemblies that are from the parts department. So they're replacements. They're new. Uh, there's a bunch of speaker cones, more vacuum hoses, just a lot of stuff. I've got to get all this. This is the box of a lot of small stuff, a lot of small parts, door speakers, vacuum carpet brush parts, all kinds of switch assemblies for intercom remote stations. My job here today, I gotta get this all cleaned up. 
Otherwise, Cindy's going to kill me. As I find more interesting things, I'll be back. As you can see, the mess has been primarily cleaned up. So I won't be in hot water on Monday morning. This is Saturday. So let's look at the final tally of what we have. So here is, we have a 372 vacuum hose, a standard hose. We have a 349N, which is an older current carrying hose. And we have a 332, which is a standard central vacuum hose. It's a plastic hose. It was the least expensive. We have one set of chime tubes. The other set of chime tubes somehow got left in Santa Rosa, but Clark already called me and said he found them there and he knows he I want them and he also found the two chimes so he's got those set aside. We've got nine hose socks. We've got in the back here there's an IS69 white that needs a button and cleaned up a little bit. There's some door, other door speakers. This gold one here this is an IS61 used with a 2003 system. There's some central vacuum relays and other vacuum parts. This is a roller brush assembly for a 598 carpet brush. These are all like uh, late 80s things. These are other 598 service parts. These these are bases for uh, patio stations from the 80s through the mid 90s. We've got some ISA 63 surface mount door speakers. We've got some heat box assemblies for 9093 heat vent lights. We've got a motor assembly for a Newtone kitchen food center. This is for a 251, and you can see the tag on it right here. This is a service replacement part. It is brand new. We have one Newtone blender jar minus a lid, but it's still a blender jar nevertheless, never been used. That's a good find. Somebody will want that. We've got a couple IS61 door speakers, a brand new IMA516 amplifier, some low voltage 18 conductor wire. That was meant for central vacuum, but it's good for doorbells too. A couple transformers, some food center knobs, a white food center counterplate, which is in pretty good shape. It's got a little scuff on it right here, but I'll clean up with some cleanser. There's some more ISA63s. These are big central vacuum motors. This is a metal and fiberglass motor out of a CV353. This is a metal and fiberglass motor out of a CV350. And this is an all-metal motor out of a C350. This is, uh, I'm sorry, a C353. That was used prior 1982 or earlier. And it's distinctly different than the fiberglass and metal ones. Down here... That grill is from a, a 9090, and like I said before, the lens is valuable. The rest of it's kind of toast, but somebody might want it. And then we've got some master stations. These were really, really grubby, and I think I showed you that before. They were sort of out in the open in his warehouse, and they had a lot of dirt and dust on them, but they vacuumed up really well. If we look at the back of this one, it was pretty well just like black and I just simply vacuumed it off. It still needs to be taken apart and disassembled, but they cleaned up really well. The one I find most interesting, so we've got a 4006T, another 4006T, a 4006 white in the back, and this is a 3003M. What's cool about the 3003M, it's a modern, so it's black, and that's popular. Sometimes people want to update their systems. And also this one, this may actually have been a new unit, Somebody robbed the control board out of it, but you can see how the interconnect cables here are still folded and they have the cable tie on it. This may have been a brand new one somebody took out of a box and robbed the board out of and it's never actually been installed. So that's not bad. The one I like the best is not that one. Maybe it's the white one. Yeah, the white one. So the remnant of this sticker right here, that's my sticker. And if we look here, inside the door, no, I thought there was another sticker. So that's the remnant of one of my repair stickers. And what that means is, somebody robbed the tuner board out of it, probably Clark. But what the sticker means is that at some point, Clark sent this to me, and he paid me to repair it. And then I sent it back to him, and now he gave it back to me. So how sweet is that? That's like the best of all possible things. And here we have a Newtone 348N. That's actually, that's a late 80s central vacuum current carrying hose back in the day when they made them in shorter 23 foot lengths also. So all in all, this is a nice pile of stuff we got, but there's more. If we walk through the office, new spa cover, that's going home with me. If we walk through here, and we look on the little workbench. 
This is the little workbench. This is when I talk to people and I say, your intercom's on the little workbench at the office. This is where it's sitting. So here's a bunch of other stuff. There's uh, I, some eight inch speakers for 2003s, 3003s, and 4006s. There's another 3303 down here. That's going to be featured in its own video. There's a bunch of AM FM dipole antennas, which are always good to have. There's a grill assembly for an IS79 patio speaker, some switchboard assemblies, terminal board for a 303. Put that over there. Terminal board for an SM428, a brand new in the box IA29 chime module, an IK15 circuit board. 4006 tuner board, another terminal board, another chime module, terminal boards for a 4006, another 4006 tuner board, more dipole antennas. There's a whole bunch of five inch speaker cones. These are all brand new. And there's a few three and a half inch front door entry station speaker cones. That's cool. This is an ISA 40, I think it's a 44, a desktop speaker for a 406 system more oh this is kind of interesting this is a replacement speaker cone assembly for an is68 which we now make here at our own uh, in our own shop so these are ones that came from newtone so these are like the ones we make some more low voltage wire it's not a sp full spool so i'll keep that for myself another door speaker cone some more speakers more five inch speakers more switchboard assemblies. There's a lot of switchboard assemblies for the ribbon cable IS405s, which are always handy to have because people need those for service. Another tuner assembly for a 4006. More switchboard assemblies. A speaker, an IS305. It has a good speaker cone on it. Uh, a box of IR9s. So, IR9s are the rough ends for the IS79 patio stations. He actually, Clark actually had like five boxes of these. There's like 15 of them. And these don't have really a lot of value because nobody's putting in IS79s anymore. They don't make them anymore. But I couldn't really not take at least one. So I took one box because you can't just throw them all away. Uh, an IK15 master station. This was on a display. So it's probably been used a little bit, but it's in good shape. A bunch of service replacement buttons and two nice IS68 front door stations. One was on a display and the other one was just in a box from the parts department. So they're a little dusty, but that cleaned up okay. So it's a nice haul of stuff. Some of this stuff, oh, and there's one other thing that's really good. Here, this is a Newtone low voltage transformer. It is part number, what's the part sticker say? It's a 42506000. This is a 30 volt 20VA transformer that's used on models 2064, 2090, 2540, all of those intercom masters that they made from like 1966 through 1973. And these haven't been available for a really long time, so this will find a home. We actually make replacement transformer assemblies to duplicate these because it's an odd size transformer, but uh, now I've got a real one that's brand new in the bag, so that's always handy. So it's a good haul of stuff. I talked to Clark this morning, and uh, he's still trying to get everything moved over to his new shop, but uh, I thanked him all, and uh, I told him when he gets settled, we're going to go back up there, and I'm going to buy him a really nice, him and his guys, a really nice uh, lunch dinner. So I hope you found this interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube because that always helps. There'll be a banner right here that shows you how to subscribe. Go to our YouTube homepage, click on the bell or on the wheel, put in your email address, and every time we post a new video, you'll get a notification and you can watch it. That's all for today. See you on the next video.